Hi, it's Lynn Dye. Today we're going to take a look at 10 Outlook 2016 time-saving tips and tricks. This uh, p this is a PDF that Outlook or that Microsoft has put out and I'll you can see I've got a link to that right here on this list of what our 10 tips are going to be. Let's get started. Uh, the number one Thing I wanted to talk about. Does Office 365 back up your email? I know we're talking about Outlook, but this applies to any of our mail. So Office 365 can does do backups, but if you're doing just a regular Outlook account, then no, you have to back that up yourself. I've got this account here that I wanted to do at this demo on and how you back up your own email account. And this will apply to 365 as well. So you come over to File and then over here to Open and Export. Then over here to the Import Export button. We want to choose Export to a File. Click Next. We want a PST file. Next. If you click this top level it will include and click that then you'll be sure to get all of the subfolders. I'm going to say do not export duplicate items. This is where it's going to put it and I can browse and change that if I want to. Click finish. It doesn't take very long and it will run it and save it for you. Next I wanted to demonstrate how uh, you can attach a file very easily. This is actually a new feature, newer feature in Outlook 2016. When you have your new message open just come up here to attach file and a list of your recent items will appear and if that's not it you can click browse this pc very nice i think that saves a lot of time because usually a lot of us will finish up on an attachment on a document close it down and then we want to mail it so then we can just come right over here to our mailbox and mail it so i think that's a really nice time saver next we want to turn a message into a meeting if you have ever been going back and forth with someone on email and you think, you know, we just need to make this a meeting. So you have your the email open that you want to turn into a meeting and then you click Control plus Alt plus R and that will bring up this meeting box and you can uh, put different people on here and change your times and things like that and send it off. So that is also a nice little time saver. Another command that you can use, these are just keyboard shortcuts that I'm going to tell you about. I really can't demo them because since they're on my keyboard. But if you want, if you're in your email and you want to switch to calendar, just hit Control 2. If you want to go to People, your contacts, Control 3. Tasks is Control 4. And if you want to go back to your email, it's Control 1. And that will probably could save you a little time if you like to keep on your keyboard like I do. Next, we're going to look at some things in the backstage area, I call it. Next, let's talk about delaying email sending. Sometimes when we write an email, we're not sure. We don't want to send it right away. We want to wait a little while. So say you've got your email written up here. Then come up here to Options. Come over here to Delay Delivery. And here's where you can say, don't deliver this before. And I'm going to say, you know, the second at 5 p.m and click close and then when you click send it will just put it in your uh, outgoing folder. Next maybe you want to send out an email and you want to use the BCC field but perhaps it's not there. So to get to that all you do is is go to your options again and right over here is the BCC field. You click it once to, to in this case I'm having it go away and click it again and it'll stay that way until you take it off. That's another a nice another nice thing. And then we go back to our message. Sometimes when you have a message you want to reply without sending the original text. If I hit reply you see I've got that original text there. Maybe I don't want to send that. In order to get rid of that you do need to go into the backstage area. So let's go to file options. We've already clicked on mail. You want to have mail and then let's go to replies and forwards. Down in this section this is where you choose if you want to include the original text or not. So if I click do not and click OK then I'll just get out of that. Let's do 
this one and say I want to reply to that and you can see it's just gone. That That's a nice thing to, to know where that is. Now we're on to tip number eight and that is tracking. You, we've, you've probably seen sometimes when you open up an email and depending on how you have your settings, it could say, do you want to send a reply that you've opened this to someone or not? Some, t some people set this to be on all the time and and some people don't. Let's go and take a look at how we handle that. So we go to options and we've got mail on there and that's down here at the tracking area. And now this only works if you're in a company with exchange email, if you have Office 365, then you can do a delivery receipt. And you can do that with Outlook too and any other mail, but the read receipt probably won't work unless you all are on the same domain and are using Office 365 or something like that. That's something to realize. It may or may not work for you, but you can do a delivery receipt. If you're sending it to someone, that will usually always work. Now say you need to find a message fast. This is a keyboard shortcut. Hold down the control, click the E, and then you can come over here and do a search. Of course, you can just go to the mailbox and do it too, but that just saves a click. Our last one, if you're using Office 365, and this is just for the 365 accounts, if you want to find your account on the web, then the way to do that, you go File, here is where your Outlook settings are for the web. And a lot of people, if you are in a company, uh, you may not know that you have this URL that's just for you. So if I click that, it will just take me to my account. That That is kind of handy to know. Those are my 10 tips that I wanted to share for today. If you have some others, leave a comment. I'd like to get them. Thank you so much. And if you like this, please consider subscribing to my channel.